Well, hi everybody, this is Francis Collins, um, he's from the National Institute of Health. You yes. participated in a session, uh, that was, what was uh, the, the issue? Uh, so it was really about the problem of cancer, what are we going to yeah. do about it? Uh, clearly it is the leading cause of death, or it will be in 2010 across the world. It is increasingly understood at the molecular level because cancer comes about because of mutations in DNA, either ones you inherited or ones that are acquired during your life. Right. So what's the thing, if you could tell maybe this is like the thing that sort of stops you in your, in your cure for cancer? You're, you're trying to find it and then you stop at some point. What's we the don't point? know enough about exactly in an individual person's cancer, what are all the things that have gone wrong inside that cancer yeah. cell? Which genes have been activated? Which ones have been inactivated? It's personalized. And how could you personalize the therapy for that person's cancer as opposed to the other thousand people who might have a tumor in the same body part? Yeah, that's so a we, challenge. Right. But we have the technologies coming out of the Genome Project to be able to answer those questions and not just try to guess what's wrong with that cancer cell. Actually, let's sequence all of its DNA and see. Right. If you have that database and if you have an increasing emphasis on developing drugs that are targeted specifically to those cancer genes, instead of chemotherapy, which is basically a general poison for all cells that are growing rapidly, you ought to be able then to end up with a cancer treatment that's more effective, more personalized, and less toxic. Well, thank you, and good luck with that work, which uh, we all need. We do so all need you. it, because we all are at risk.